We're now going to talk about one of my favourite sources of public domain materials. Many of the sites we've talked about up to now have been, a lot of them have been things that are quite old, things that are from the past. Now, the world's governments, every single country, will have sites like this. Um, I'm going to focus on the USA site, but your country will have similar similar information. How much, who knows really, it depends upon the country you're in, you're going to have to dig around to find it. But basically, governments all over the world produce reams and reams of information every single day. They produce reports and all sorts. But what they don't do is much of it isn't actually copyrighted. It's in the public domain. So the people own it, which means basically you can do what you like with it. Some of the reports, if they're produced by an external consultant, will be copyrighted. But the majority of it isn't copyrighted. So that means you can do what you like with it. So you can come along here, we can type in a search, so we're going to search for loans and it will come up with lots and lots of websites within the US government that's about loans. So you can see here uh, there's a, a government loan program site there um, and so on and so forth. So you can see there's quite a bit of information there, uh, direct consolidation loans, um, so all sorts of information there to help you basically. Uh, if you want to find loans, so you you can see that you know, you can come here and you can search for your keywords and you can find public domain information that you can then take and use as is on your website, or you can edit it and create unique content from it. You can create reports, you could create um, you know anything you want really, anything, absolutely anything. But there's some very very valuable information here, and I use this information to create myself um, websites. If I'm creating a website on loans, I would um, have some articles written, I'd have some books or something like that written or purchase some books to sell. And then I'd come along to a site like this and I would go through these sites, I'd find relevant information um, to the niche I'm targeting and I would use that on my website. Either I would use it as is or I might edit it, it would depend on the information. But you know, there, there's a lot here an awful lot that you could use and uh, profit from so you know the gut your taxes are paying for this information to be produced so you might as well use it and make good use of it you can see you've got um, uh, frequently asked questions here you've got links to all the forms so you can either copy the forms onto your website or you can link direct to the federal forms here um, you'd have to check exactly what's sure you can look at federal aid and so on so a lot of a lot of different ideas here but the main thing is is a lot of this information isn't produced by you know your um, two dollars for 500 words article writer it's produced by government experts I mean these are, are top scientists top brains top politicians are producing this sort of information so you know you can you can access this and use it so basically you get access to high quality top writers for pittance you know for nothing absolutely nothing your taxes are paying for it so you know have a search and find the information you want because you know a lot of this is freely available I mean for example um, if you look for information on say uh, a bankruptcy it's a big big subject at the moment with the economic climate there, there's companies that will offer to sell you all sorts of information to help you go bankrupt but basically what they're doing is they're giving you information that is freely available from the government websites. It's just the government websites don't know how to rank in the search engines. So when you type in how do I go bankrupt, for example, in, in the search engines, the government site doesn't appear, but all these other sites that say, I'll do it for you for a fee, they appear because they understand search engine optimization. But in many cases, all they're doing is presenting you with information that is freely available from a government website. So you know have a good look through because there's an awful lot of ideas here for you and a massive amount of information okay now here's another one um, govspot.com slash news slash reports it's basically lots and lots of reports from the government and you can see there's all sorts of subjects so again if you are looking to uh, if you're looking to create a site on uh, children's well-being you can get statistics and all sorts of information here so you know you can use 
even the information here you could take statistics and other information from these websites and use them in your sales material you know if you had uh, a statistic you know from from this that um, um, over 50 percent of children live with at least one working parent um, that really really can add some uh, weight to your sales letter so you know you can look at the education comparison and, and so on you know this is obviously it's a United States website but what you can do is the this information these reports could be used on your website they could be used as web content as giveaways they could be used to enhance the value of a book that you're writing so if I'm writing a book on about looking after children I may well come here download some of the reports and read them and use them as ideas for content or as references in order to really give my book that um, weight and value in the eyes of the people who read it so it's worth your while coming and having a look through this site and finding some of the bits and pieces that are here I mean uh, there's information on grants for example I know that's a huge topic that people pay lots of money for um, uh, education employment health and so on so you can see there's uh, you know lots and lots of stuff here that you could use for your website to do pretty much whatever you want with so you know have a good through look through um, this site and see what you can find and here's just one more for you this is the uh, NTIS it's the National Technical Information Service again it's a United States website but it has lots and lots of reports and information on it. It, it basically they, they compile statistics and do all sorts of you know big brain stuff in a sort of office somewhere with no windows. So you can see you know if you were doing a website about uh, immigration, you could come here and there's a, a yearbook of immigration statistics that could be valuable information for you. And there's all sorts of other technical reports. And so on here that you could potentially use you could do a search here and find the information you're after so I mean we've only touched on a couple of government sites here but you know there is so much information produced by the governments that it's it's crazy it really really is I mean you think about the United States there's uh, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of people live there now but there's tens of thousands of people that work for the government that basically spend their life creating reports that go into the public domain to sites like this so that people like you and I can use them to turn a profit and now a lot of potential sits here that really really does I mean we, we've looked at over the last few videos a video and books and audio and images and you can see there is so much available for you to use there really really is what I would recommend is just have a think about what you need it for when when you come to create a website okay don't 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 go searching through some of this stuff and and because you you'll get lost you you could easily get lost if you look through this with unless you're looking at sort of the audio video and public domain books what you want to do is actually have a website idea and then come to sites like this to find information to back it up again statistics like these will be very very powerful uh, in a sales letter so you know you you can use this to enhance your sales letters enhance your um, books and on your website you can use them as website content and so on and so forth I mean you can use them as ebook content or uh, whatever it might be but there is a, a, a massive amount of information here that potentially could make you an awful lot of money so I would strongly recommend that you spend some time just go through these sites have a look understand them understand what they have yeah just set aside a couple of days and say right I'm not going to do anything else I'm just going to look through these sites get your head around them and what's in them because then once you've done that and you're creating websites in the future you will know what's available to you in the public domain that you could use and it'll help speed up your website creation so yeah massive potential there really really is I mean I can't tell you how much you could earn from public domain I mean people do earn six figures just from public domain materials um, they really really can I mean uh, some years back uh, I can't remember who it was I, I think it might have been Yannick Silver 
he had a, a business where every six months or so he'd release a CD of public domain books, basically, or a DVD, I can't remember which. But there'd be, uh, you know, a hundred or so, maybe several hundred uh, public domain books and images and stuff like that. And he, he would say, right, I'm only releasing a thousand copies of this to the uh, general public. So he'd only sell a thousand copies. But each one would set you back um, $500. So, you know, you can see instantly how much he earned from it using it that way. I don't know whether it's still done now, but there's a lot of potential for you to use uh, these public domain materials and create some really, really neat products and services that, you know, could make you a lot of money. I mean, that's just one way that it's been used, but people use public domain materials to create AdSense sites, reports, ebooks. They They sell them uh, to, to business builders. I mean... You could create um, you know, business in a box you know, in various niches with some of the material here and sell them to business opportunity seekers for uh, quite a substantial sum of money. So you know, there, there's, there's a lot you can do with this and you're going to have to step outside your box a little and really think about what you can do, what you want to do with it. I mean, you can do anything with it, but what do you want to do specifically? I think that's the question that you need to ask yourself. Uh, when it comes to this so this is um, all the government information remember NASA's in the government uh, all a lot of their information is in public domain pictures and so on and so forth so you know you can use that as well but this gives you an idea of the breadth of information available to you to pretty much do whatever you want with so you know huge 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 earning potential for you